Hey creeps, I'm Pure Horror and I'm here today guest reviewing for my favourites Mad About Horror. Today I have this, which I have been waiting for for a very long time. It is the NECA Halloween 3 Season of the Witch figure. Oh my god, can you actually believe that it's here? I am beyond words of how excited I am to be taken out of the box. Now I don't know if excited was the right word then, maybe sick, ill don't even know if I want to but I'm gonna do it so first should we take a look at the packaging it is beautiful matte finish just I oh, don't know if you can get a closer look at that then of course at the back we have the silver shamrock novelties badge and the sides have the Halloween 3 now I'm gonna look first I'm gonna take this I'll let you see the back first. This, okay, I'm not going to lie, I have had a look. I've had a look, I can't lie about it, and I love it. I love this. Like this, it is so nostalgic to cutting out of magazines. Like when I was younger, I used to cut these out of magazines and send them off. I remember getting a fair few figures doing, well, the, I think it was like, cut this out and collect tokens and you can get a figure. Brilliant. So yeah, absolutely love that. Figures, the photography on, of the figures I think is great. I think they look phenomenal and um, they give you a pretty good detail of what you're actually going to get that's behind here. So, I don't know if you're ready for this, but oh my god, just aren't they stunning? I just, I love them. I love them. I just think, I've got to look myself, the TV, the TV's holographic, like, it is just so, so good, they are just amazing, I'm just in a lot, but they are just great, so yeah, I don't even know I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to cut the tab, like, I feel, I don't know, I feel, I don't feel right, but I'm going to do it, I've got, I've actually got a knife. Here's one I sharpened earlier. Oh, I'm, I'm getting a, I'm getting a flush. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm on, I'm honest, I'm sweating. Ah! Did you hear that? So, oh, this is not something I would usually do. I feel like I'm shaking. Right. Do it quick. Even the back. I suppose I would never have seen that if it wasn't for moving. So yeah. They're incredible. I feel like I don't know how to deal with a figure that has been taken out of the packaging. Like I don't even think I should be touching it. But by the looks of it, they are cable tied and it looks like they're stapled through the back but yeah i think oh the witch's hat is out i'm going to take these out and get right back to you they're out it was painful i needed help because i can't do stuff like this on my own it was difficult to get out for me but it's a standard cut the bits at the back push them out and there you go so yeah let's start with the skull now already it has the badge on the back which looks super super detailed it's actually really well done and for somebody who can't see very well I can clearly see that that says silver shamrock novelties that's incredible that they've actually gone to that much detail to put that on there I do think NECA are absolutely killing it with these figures they're doing oh the releases are just so good but yeah, the, the clothes have got Velcro bit at the back. Standard, like all articulation, head movements, arms, legs, hands, all, not the hands, the wrists, they all move. I just love it. I just, I love the print. It's even print as well on both sides. I just think he looks great. And I love that you can swap the head for the obvious one that I'm going to use. 
it's just ah i'm just in again it is just phenomenal i love these so the witch again the badges on the back and the cape has got metal wiring in it so you can move it around it gives it more of a lifelike feel i, I love it i just i'm just in stop just in i just think it's great but I feel like I'm being selfish. So, yeah, I'm going to give you a closer look soon. I'm just going to get a good look at this. The paintwork is really, really nice. Again, and they still the the other head still have the badges on. Yeah. The bugs are just so good. I do feel like they really thought about the, what they were doing when they pulled these ones out. Again with the pumpkin, the badge, the velcro back in. Incredible. These are just great figures. But I am going to say, Necker if you're watching, I would like some more. Give me 12 inch, 18 inch, like I have a set of three 18 inches. That'll do me great. Again, the TV, the TV is good sturdy. The, the holographic on it is amazing. I'll give you a close up of that soon. I love it. I, ju I just love it. Amazing. So excited to have them. Gonna need another one now because I've taken these out of the box and it's not the same when you put it back in because it's no longer new. But yeah. Should we have a closer look? just thought I'd mention that I left the hands and the treat bags in the box. I'm not going to lie, I, I got enough out. I don't want to get the extra hands out or the treat bags because it makes me feel sick. But they're in there. I'm not going to use them to change anything, but it is worth mentioning that you do get the extra hands and the treat bags. As you can see, they're just taped at the back. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you are all doing well in this quarantine time. You will have to excuse the look. It will get better after all this craziness is done. But I will be back soon doing more unboxings. Maybe if I can bring myself to do that again. But I will be reviewing more goods for my favourite, favourite, favourite people mad about horror. And it is worth a mention that these are going to disappear. I just I've got to tell you if you don't jump on these now you will cry because they will be sold out and go for a fortune so as soon as you see these please pick them up get your pre-orders in and just buy them because they are phenomenal all I've got to say is go shop mad about horror thanks creeps <laughs>